inside the cab, we're looking for a nice clean tidy cab um, so we can actually just inspect things. You can see we've got brake fluid up in here uh, and you can also then get a nice overview of all the controls. So down at my feet I've got the, the brakes so uh, we've just got the one brake pedal there and then we've got our throttle down the right hand side uh, which obviously controls your engine revs. Up on the side of the steering wheel here we'll have the forward and back selector so obviously we've got forward, neutral and then reverse on there. Up on here you can see we've got a steering selector so we've got four wheel steer um, two wheel steer and then crab steer. The two wheel steer setting in the centre is for when you're on the road so that's the one that should be selected then. Um, down the rest of the cab here we've got your uh, we've got the lap belt up on here which is recommended to be worn um, and you've also got the handbrake down here which has got the safety catch on it there which has to be released first before the handbrake can be um, let off. We've got lifting and then we've got lowering you can tilt away from you and then tilt back to you, so obviously that operates the boom on the front um, and we've got the, the auxiliary controls there which will probably be a telescopic boom out and in and this one here will probably be a uh, rocker out and in, again that will be for any attachments that we've got fitted to the front of the machine. General driving with the machine, you're constantly looking round about you, watching out for other people, other machines any overhead obstructions as well, also checking your ground conditions constantly as well. So observation is one of the key points we're looking for. So that head's constantly looking round about you, checking mirrors, checking any blind spots and watching out for hazards that are going round about you as well. On a four-wheel steer machine like this here, you've got the added advantage that you are actually offset. So you're looking along the edge of the stack there, so the operator is actually lining things up as he drives forward. He's got his forks fully inserted into the box, keeping the load nice and close to the front axle for stability. And again, everything is safe when he's operating. So when he's using his hydraulic controls, handbrakes on, out of gear. And again, you can see that head going constantly watching out for hazards round about the machine. Once you're clear of the stack, lower the forks down into your travelling position. This just keeps the centre of gravity nice and low in the forklift. Raising the load, make sure, again, handbrake on, out of gear. You're using the joystick control on your right hand there. The hydraulics will actually stay level, so self-leveling on the machine. So whatever level you have it at the bottom, it will stay at that level all the way up to the top. So you don't have to make that adjustments on the move. So it will stay level for you, provided you have it reasonably level at the bottom. And again, driving forward and again, selecting handbrake out of gear and lowering it down. Checking over the shoulders, as he's reversing back, he's just checking he's not going to catch his forks coming out through the gap there, but everything's fine. Um, once he's clear of the stack, stop, get himself safe, down into his travelling position before he starts to head off. So likewise when you're doing high stacking and you're extending the telescopic boom, um, again that's all done with a handbrake on and the vehicle safe and, and neutral. Um, so you position yourself over the top of the start there, handbrake on out of gear, um, lower yourself down. If need be you can retract the boom, um, take your tilt off and lower the box down. Um, again when you're coming out you might need to make minor adjustments, that's fair enough. Um, again, observations checked before he comes back, um, he gets himself clear of the stack and he retracts his boom and, uh, and then lowers the machine back down into his travelling position again. Mm -hmm. 
again to change attachment just simply use the joystick um, when you line yourself up just hook in to the top of the bucket there first and once you're located in the, the hooks at the top there tilt it back and then you'll see the silver pins at the bottom when they um, pop out and that's the bucket securely held on. While still operating with bulk attachments on the front, um, the, the same principles apply to when we were using the pallet forks. The only difference this time is that we don't physically have to pull on the parking brake every time we use the hydraulic controls. So to stop your foot in the foot brake, pop it into neutral, down into your travelling position and that's you ready to head away. Um, so if you can, try not to be lifting and lowering on the move. Again, it's just to keep the machine stable and keep the centre of gravity nice and low down when we're moving. Obviously the list is endless of attachments you can get for the front of these machines uh, but what you will find they've all got standard rating plates on them so it'll tell you how much it can carry, its load centre and its unladen weight and any other derating factors as well so uh, all that information now must be stamped on the uh, CE marked um, rating plate that you'll find on the attachment. Just a reminder as well, once you're done Remember, turn and reverse out the carb and leave everything safe.